So you want to know how to create a beautiful character inside Blender? So in this video, I will be showing you the full process. I divided it into 10 steps. So let's get started. Number 1. Idea and Collecting Reference The first step in creating a beautiful character is that come up with a solid idea and get some references. This will help you establish the look and feel you want to achieve and ensure that you stay on the track throughout the creation process. So first thing is that collect the reference that exactly represent your idea. And the second thing is that you can pick up some more inspiration art so related to your character so so you can change some steps by your own but collectively you have to be in the same style so the second thing is that from where you can collect references so i will show you the three main sources of references where you can collect all the reference that you want so first things first that is google so simply you can search any character reference you want to create and you can search that on Google. So ArtStation is the place where people post their artworks. There are like millions of artworks and if you search here you can get relatable artworks according to your reference. The third and the most important source of getting reference is the Pinterest. It's a website for images uh, but it's like really really helpful i really get a lot of reference here and the best thing is that if you click on any of the character you will get relatable characters to, to that so it's really really useful and helpful so now you have all reference now it's time to create the block out of the character the block out is really important to create the base and also you will get an idea of how the character will look so there are a bunch of different ways to start your character and to do the block out. I have created a separate video on like 6 kind of ways to start your character. Uh, I will mention that video you can click on the i button to go to that video. So in that video I explain the different ways but in this one uh, we have to start from a spare with just adding spares and creating that base. So it's a really famous method also used in ZBrush. So what you have to do is to pick up a spare and start duplicating that and you can just like deform it with the brushes or you can use the edit mode proportional editing option for this one. So when you are done with the block out it's time for sculpting. So you have to merge all these objects that you have and after that you can start smoothing it out and creating the shape that you want it so I usually start from the head first and do the basic sculpting on the head so I do the same thing that in start I add just the major details and after that I start detailing it after the head I go with the body and same thing for that that I merge it in start and then start sculpting So the fourth step of creating our character is to retopo that sculpt cause you can directly use the sculpt uh, for game or animation cause the topology is weird the mesh is really destroyed so you have to create a separate mesh again on our sculpted body so we have to like use it as a reference and create another clean mesh on it so for this process I also have to collect a reference from the internet to create the correct topology flow. So uh, the same things here also is that I first start from the head and then go to the body and in the end I do the hands and the feet. So after completing all the topology uh, we can start the UV mapping. 
So unwrapping is the same for like almost every humanite character. So it's the same way and with the same kind of areas you have to mark the seams. Uh, if you want to know how to unwrap character, I have a video on that especially so you can watch that. Uh, the link will be in the description and also you can click on the i button. So firstly I marked all these So firstly I select all the areas for uh, the mark seam and you can just control E and mark seam that Unwrapping for small objects like uh, the hairs and the jewelry that I have here is a little bit tough and it take really long some time and it's really time taking but you have to be patient with this one and slowly you can do all the process so now it's time for the texturing so I use a uh, substance painter for texturing but you can use uh, blender for it uh, it's the same way but the process is same so uh, in the texturing I start from the color filling which is a kind of like block out for the texturing so in this method we first just fill the colors to the required areas so like i first fill all the body with just a flat color and the nails to be the separate colors and the eyes to be like white and just black with no detailing and the hair have like a flat color and the costume have like a green color so i firstly just do the color filling and masking so after that i can easily add it details so then it's time for detailing and I can do all the things that I want all the details I want to put so I use uh, for some places I use a image a texture image from Google and for the, some people I generate it procedurally so that's the case uh, it's always a final touch of anything you want to do so here in texturing also I complete all the things and then I go for some more references and try to like do the things that can be better or that can be improved. So when you complete the texturing uh, the seventh step is to rig your character. So there are a bunch of ways of rigging our character and one easy and and one easy way of rigging is in having a auto rig pro add-on it's a paid add-on but it really work great and you can just simply in a few minutes you can rig your character with all the advanced features that you want but there are like five ways to rig your character and if you want to know i have a separate video on this thing you can watch that on clicking i button or the link is in the description so when you complete your rig it's the time for posing and expressions so in this case i have also the facial rig setup so i can use this thing or i can just give it a simple pose but I decided to make it just like the rest pose so I just have make the hands a little down and just try a little bit smile if you want it but I do I didn't did a lot in this one because I want the character to be in the rest pose but I also did another render and for that uh, I did like this whole process I did like uh, all the things and as you can see my character is like looking for fishes so I did all the post setup so again you have to pick up some reference for this process to make sure you have a good pose and a good expression so with the ninth step you have to do the lighting so lighting can be a little bit hard for a lot of people but I can show you like uh, the three steps ways. 
but there are like some easy way of lighting uh, the first thing is that you can do the simple three point lighting which is the point light which uh, which is also called the spotlight which create a spot light on your character so it can be like with the left side and with the right side you have to pick up a fill light it can be an area light to do the filling so you don't have uh, really the dark area on the right side and with the behind you can put a light and you can do some and you can have some rim light so it's the most easy way of lighting your character so if you are done with the all the lighting posing it's time for rendering so rendering is pretty simple so you have to make sure what resolution you need for this character or the right samples for it so i usually uh, use these settings so I turn the resolution into 200 and the sampling is the default one which is the 4096 and I just hit F12 and here is the result so thank you so much for watching and hitting a like and subscribing will be appreciated